Uh, good morning. I'm Dr. Mohan Bhatgandi. I'm a consultant in diabetes endocrinology from Manipal Hospital, Bangalore. And I have over 35 years of experience in treating type 1, type 2 diabetes and complicated diabetes. And I have been trained in uh, United Kingdom, in Edinburgh and Leeds and Newcastle upon Tyne, which is considered as a mecca of uh, diabetes for Europe and Asia. And to briefly give you an idea, we are well versed with the modern management of type 1 diabetes, type 2 diabetes, GDM and obesity. And as far as uh, type 1 is concerned, now we have uh, most uh, important uh, is insulin analogs and long acting insulins available in uh, Bangalore as well as in Manipal Hospital. We are very well versed with using insulin pumps and uh, see continuous glucose monitoring for our type 1 diabetes patients which has given us very good insight into the physiology and biochemistry of type 1 diabetes and we achieve very good results with CGMS and insulin adjustment in type 1 diabetes patients and as well as the GDM is concerned that is the pregnancy induced uh, type 2 di type of diabetes we are uh, very uh, uh, particular about providing good uh, background education for pregnancy patients and we use very good insulin analogs which are available in our hospital and we monitor the blood glucose monitoring in type uh, in this type of diabetes that is GDM and we get very good results in pregnancy induced diabetes. We normally train the pregnancy patients in how to monitor the glucose at home and then how to use insulin in our outpatients department and whenever they are admitted for steroid therapy we also adjust uh, their insulin dosage and we again uh, train them in uh, home monitoring of blood glucose. Sometimes we also advise them to use CGMS so that we can detect uh, low blood sugar uh, problems as well as high blood sugars associated with pregnancy and thus ad adjust the insulin dosage. And when it comes to patients with type 2 diabetes who are undergoing surgery, bypass or angioplasty, coronary angiography, peripheral angiography, we always adjust the insulin dosage prior to the procedure and during the procedure and after the procedure. For this, we use one of the most advanced uh, insulins that are recently introduced known as FIASPA that is the uh, uh, fast acting as uh, aspart insulin which has been launched recently which is made available in our hospital which is a very short acting or ultra rapid acting insulin which works very well with uh, long acting insulins like Glargine and uh, uh, Traceba and gives a very good results and very low incidence of hypoglycemia and very good levels of fasting as well as the postprandial blood sugars and HbA1c levels. Now when it comes to postprandial blood sugars, we are very particular in controlling because that is considered as one of the markers of cardiovascular mortality and morbidity in type 2 diabetes patients and with the usage of FIASPA and long acting insulins, we are able to hopefully achieve better results and control and uh, reduce the cardiovascular mortality in our patient. My message for World Health is that we should use insulin early and control the blood sugars and improve the organ protection and reduce the cardiovascular mortality thus providing a good quality of life.